Power Tools. I'm Richard Vision. We got Swedish Eagle here in the house. We got Jaws just starting off his mix. Hey, Jaws. How you doing? Good. Thank, how are you? Very good. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've been a fan for quite a while. Uh, what was the song that we just heard? Uh, that's a remix I just did of a remix, actually. It's the Dylan Francis remix of Some Chords by Dead Mouse. But now you gave it the Jaws twist. Yeah, it's the Jaws remix of the Dylan Francis remix of the Dead Mouse original. Okay, very cool, very cool. What else is coming up in your mix? Um, I have a bunch of stuff. I have uh, my new track with my buddy Wax Motif. I have my collab with Borgor that just came out today. Um, I have... A couple new originals in there, uh, one at the very end called Claim to Be, and uh, a bunch of stuff that I've found from other kids that I've just really, really been feeling. Okay. You were telling me off the air that you're excited about this next song we're coming up on, and you just found this. Yeah. Um, one of my buddies sent it to me and was just like, yo, check it out. Normally, you know, I probably would have given it a couple days before I listened to it. I just had a couple seconds, and it was a track by this kid, Notion, and I just fell in love with it, and it was right as I was making my mix, and it just worked so perfectly, I had to put it in. Okay, let's check it out right now. This is Jaws in his debut mix on Power Tools, in his debut mix for Groove Radio. Jaws is our special guest in the studio, and my introduction uh, to you came from Borgor, who has been pretty much responsible for a lot of your career, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And when I first started to listen to your music, it was like a dubstep sound. Yeah. And then recently, you've been making more house music, almost like future house. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, people like to call it future house or deep house or whatever it is. I I just call it house music or music, I guess. Right. Big um, bass lines and good house music. Yeah, exactly. Music with a lot of bass. That's okay. what I've always liked. So what made you switch? Um... I girl. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, as much as it kills me to say this, it's probably all started when I started living with my roommate Ryan, who is like the biggest deep house tech house, you know, just like techno lover in the world. And at that point I was like pretty much only really making dubstep and he just kind of like ingrained it in my brain and ingrained it in my brain and you know, eventually I just started kind of branching out and I I made like one or two tracks and I was like, eh, you know, it's kind of cool. And one of my friends, Stormy, was like, you should really, you know, think about doing this more seriously. And I was like, no, like I love dubstep, like I'm not going to do this. And then I made two or three more tracks and more than anything, I realized it just came really naturally, Okay. you know, and for me, it's like. I, I guess the whole like motto behind the brand is music has no boundaries right. and if I'm gonna live by that I can't just make dubstep and I can't just make house music but so now the song you made with Borgor did you influence him to make Lindsay Lohan in that style or did he want to do that with you that's actually a really funny story because I'm sure that people listen to it and they say, okay, well, Jaws made the first part where it's like the deep housey drop and then Borgor made it where it's all like the annoying high-pitched sounds and trap, you know, whatever. <laughs> and it's actually completely the opposite. A hundred percent the opposite. Uh -huh. So, I mean, at that point he had been playing uh, my Hella Hose remix and Feel the Volume and a couple other tracks in his sets. And so he's kind of got into it and was looking into, you know, producing it for himself. And we were sitting in the studio working on a completely different track and it wasn't really going anywhere. And then he was like, well, you know, I have this idea, like maybe you want to hear it. And he played it and I was like, dude, this is amazing. Like, this is really, really great. And that was the, you know, the house drop. Mm -hmm. And then we sat there and worked on it for like three or four hours and I ended up coming up with the halftime drop with the annoying you know screechy high-endy stuff and so it was it was really funny to me because i knew it was going to come out and people were going to be like oh okay well you know borgor made the the annoying sounds and jaws made the cool housey stuff and it's the, it's vice versa yeah absolutely it's a song that's part of Borgor's latest album, the Bygore album, which you guys are touring behind, and it's just been released as a single now, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get back into the mix to listen to more of what Jaws is doing. Jaws is in this mix here on Power Tools, 
in the mix on Groove Radio International. That's Jaws finishing up his mix here on Groove Radio International. We talked a lot about how your roommate inspired you to make house music, and I love that. I absolutely madly love your sound. So Thank that you. you played with A.C. Slater. That must have been an experience, right? Oh, that was a blast. He, like, without a doubt, he's the dude that, like, you know, I started getting into the deeper kind of sounds, and then when I found his stuff, it like really sealed the deal for me because it was the closest thing I had found to dubstep and like deep house music all in one. And right. that's what I'm about. And I think you share the love for, for dubstep music between the two of you because that's what he was doing before he got back into house music again. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Yep, long time ago. So now, your latest song, Big Man Ting with Jam and MC, is another dubstep kind of song, song, right? So that's a little yeah. confusing to me. Did you switch, or are you just sort of bouncing all over the place? Bouncing all over the place. Okay. That is my goal, is to keep people guessing, keep people, you know, trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. And, um, I mean, I, I feel like that's what kind of makes my brand different is that you know i was doing bass music and dubstep for a while and then all of a sudden i did deep house or future house whatever you want to call it and it completely caught people off guard and then after i released like 10 tracks that are all deep house or future house it was kind of like okay i'm either going to keep doing this and then it's going to become like my thing or i have to go bounce backwards and do a complete 180 or else I'm not really living up to what I want to do. Okay. Well, I'm glad you have the variety. We appreciate it. What about the new remix that you've done for Mary J. Blige? When, when is that going to see the light of day? I wish I knew. I love that remix. That one was really, really fun to make. I, I got the stems for it and listened to it like three or four times, and I was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to remix this song? Because, I mean, initially... At least in my mind, I thought, okay, it's a major label. They know that I do this deep house thing. Like, that's what they want. And tempo-wise and key-wise and everything, it just it wasn't going to fit. And then I just kind of went with what felt right. And that whole remix popped out in, like, I don't know, two or three hours. And I was... Oh, okay. Yeah, and it was... Go with a gut feeling. That seems to be the best. Yeah, that... Whenever I do that is when people really, really like the music. Okay. Whenever I try to fight myself is when it doesn't really hit. Okay. Good. Uh, so if we wanted to see you play here in Southern California, when are you going to be playing here next? I think the next time I'm playing is going to be LED Anniversary in San Diego, mm -hmm. which is going to be amazing. Okay. And if people wanted to read about more of your new releases, I also know that you have a SoundCloud where you're giving away a mix that you did for Diplo and Friends. What is the best website to find you? Um, SoundCloud.com slash Jaws Official. And for those of you who may not know, it's J-A-U-Z. Yes, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> there has definitely been... I mean, actually, it's funny because people don't normally get the spelling wrong. They just get the pronunciation wrong. Right. They think it's... Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Jows. <laughs> yeah. Jows. Most people say hows. Right. Or or hwas. Oh, okay. With yeah. a J as an A. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay. L-A, hwas. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being part of the show. You're amazing. Keep up the good work. And we're looking forward to see more of you on the Bygore album tour. Thank you. Thanks for having me. 